Jesse B with Pop the Trunk Toys. Today we are featuring Firebird Nicey. And this is everybody's favorite controversial robot out right now. And for the box for Nicey. See picture here. Nothing on the bottom. Car mode on the side. Vehicle alt mode. You see some pictures and dynamic poses that she can do. Bunch of stuff that I cannot read. Picture of Nicey on the back. Now, I'm not sure if anybody got theirs like this, but it maybe be cheap tabs or something, but all my boxes came kind of loosely popped like that. I was fortunate enough to get a, to be able to keep this and do, so I can make my video. All the ones that I had gotten in stock completely sold out. And then, well, fortunately, I was able to uh, achieve this one through a cancellation and so I got to keep one and I'm happy with that because she sold out everywhere and really get her so let's uh, get her opened up and let's see what she looks like and see what all the fuss is about well since I don't need to open that up with a tab I'm gonna go ahead and fold her open let's see what she got inside Put that down real quick. Nothing left in the box. Okay, so right out the box, you get her tech spec and one instruction booklet. Okay, put this to the side. And as you see, my seat is in her clamshell and she has her car part which looks like an arrow green arrow right here her blaster sword six pans um, some kind of attachment an extra brush plate and an alternative head all right let me get her out of the clamshell we'll be right back okay now we have nicey here suited booted ready to rock and roll and let's talk about some of the accessories this is the long arrow that she can pose with uh, to make a crossbow out of her two back wings that she has on there uh, her blaster rifle or blaster hand cannon or gun or looks pretty nice and sculpted and painted got like a metallic pink on there which is nice let me see. Her alternate face is like, yeah. That's her alternate head. She has two closed fists. She has two relaxed hands. She has a trigger, trigger hand, and coming around, she has like two relaxed open fingered hands, and then she has a thumbs up kind of pose so she could hold her, uh, she could hold her sword a little bit better, and my first thoughts on her is uh, her articulation articulation is very nice uh, super poseable her plastics feel very well um, the material there's a lot of die cast in it the paint is really uh, vibrant it's done really well I'm actually quite shocked um, I was a bit bit skeptical myself about buying this figure but um, oh as I open her up 
she is quite the fembot. Um, definitely overstylized. Definitely um, some un unnecessary things, I think. But yet, yeah, uh, that's what makes her an icy, right? All right. Let's start talking about articulation. And also here, she is with her archer arch option, which is you get her back. Um, backpack wings and then you kind of attach it to the hood which you'd remove from here and you put it together and you put the little adapter the gray adapter and this can be an option too for you as well I think it looks kind of cool not too bad I do like archery so that's kind of cool also too as well uh, her her shield does come off and the sword can come out which the sword is nicely done um, very sleek and uh, sharp pointy very nice as the pistol does actually store in here Oop. <laughs> before that we get to that also to her gun pistol for her gun hand it comes out uh, like a like a clip you would just slide it onto her gun hand, take it in and out, put it in, pop it back together, like a little clip as well. And then also it does store in the bottom here, like so. Just like that, and stores very well. Okay, let me get that out. Okay, and she does have a removable breastplate, which if you don't like the hard ones, you get squishies. So uh, if you want, uh, that's for you. <laughs> then they got the squishies for you. Okay, now let's take a quick look with her gun hand. There you go. And you would just pop the clip back in. And it holds just fine. Just like that. And also the, the backpack wings up here can come out. And you can store them on her side if you like. If you like that look too as well. I most likely probably will not. And get her going like that. And kind of have like a flaring side skirt kind of thing. Okay. I'll take these off. Place them back. And there she goes back. All right. does have quite the articulation so when you're moving over in her she kind of bends and folds all these different places okay so her neck is on a swivel very tight Oop, and slides right out <laughs> her neck also is on a wiggly and gives you that you know uh, I don't know kind of voice you know um, in the back here you can kind of pull this back and Wiggle this out right here. Get that off. Um, her shoulder, you can maneuver it upwards, such as this, and get a high pose, or you can bring it down. Uh, the shoulder pad actually does move um, individually. See, it's right here. You can rock it. And the articulation is basically on a ball peg, but these do kind of hinder you, but you can move it upwards just like that. Uh, she has a bicep swivel. Her arm can get you up to here. And that far back, they do uh, maneuver all the way around. Has a little top wiggle, or maybe that's her actual waist swivel. And then as well, her leg can get you up to here, or you could 
bring it out a little bit, extend it, and she'll get you the full up and get you to the back. The knee bends have some nice touch right here with the piston and it's double jointed. Very nice. Now all this is friction, not uh, ratcheted. Uh, she gets you out for the booyah kick. She can do one. Bam! Very nice. Okay. And for the heel, it can spin around. Uh, it rocks back and forth very nice and gives you up and down. So she is very movable, very poseable. Pretty much get her into whatever position you want. Um, like I said, the, the, the paint in their job is very nice. The back looks okay, not too bad, you know? I like the, the white pearlescent, it's nice, shiny. Into alt mode, let's get her some size comparisons really fast. Here she is next to X Transbot's wheelie. You can see that she is taller than the little fella. <clears throat> Okay. All right. Here she is next to Retgar. Nice. Here she is next to Perceptor from X Trans or <laughs> Fan Stories. Ooh, let me get in trouble. <laughs> Okay. She is next to Hot Rod Masterpiece. Okay. And here's Fan Soy's Rouge. And there you go. Now you can see there's over stylization. There's, uh, if she was RC, she'd be like uh, RC's niece, RC's cousin, but not RC. Uh, family resemblance, but not family looking alike. Okay, so let's get her transformed. We'll be right back. I see all set up in her car mode in her futuristic car and I would say it looks nice and sleek nice and stylized uh, this part I would say definitely looks like RC here you got the nice paint job going on with the you know the, the chrome pink you got the pearlescent white and you got the see-through uh, plastics in here you got the visor you got the seats she looks very nice inside she got the steering wheel dashboard the fin that also comes out the underbelly eh, so so the back cleans up pretty good you got the see-through tail lights in the back so all in all i think it looks very well um i would say this part right here looks very good okay cool size comparison really fast just really quickly and we got there's ratchet there and brawn from fan soys so all in all i would say she looks pretty good not too bad this is the alt mode i'd probably be keeping her in so i would say um it's good enough for me not too bad all right, everybody, this will conclude my NICE review. Hope you enjoyed. If you like, please like, like, and subscribe. And this will be Jesse B. Till next time. Thank you. Have a good day.